How's it going, everyone? We're here to check out the skins that made it in this week, and this week we actually got a couple more than usual skins. Uh, we got two extras, making it ten, and starting off, we've got a road sign set for you. The first one here is the Concentric set. So we did see an AK pop in, and now we have a road sign set. So hey, that makes four pieces, so this is officially a set. So congratulations to the artist, because hey, that's their first accepted set. So here it is. It may look like it glows in the dark, but it doesn't. So it will not give you away when you are walking around at night. And it's going to run you 99 cents a piece. Next up, we have our deployables. And first up, we've got a box for you that should fit right into the world of Rust. It is the large OBS box. And the whole thing looks like it's made out of OBS plywood and so forth. And uh, yeah, you can see it says this way up, just like a crate would. It has a little like, uh, shipping number and everything on it. So, yeah, it's just one of those kind of things that just fits nicely, aesthetically, into the world of Rust. Or, as a lot of you guys would say, a role-player skin. <laughs> Next over here, we have another goofy kind of skin for a furnace. And it is this beautifully done cactus. As you can see, it looks like the spikes are actually sticking up and off of it. It's got this nice purple flower on the top. And then it even has a nice little trim of painted flowers around, around <clears throat> excuse me, the brick base of the furnace. However, it doesn't really have any special glow out of the normal. Last but not least for our deployables, we have a little star rug. That's right, we've got the starfish rug. And uh, yeah, this thing is just uh, absolutely hilarious. And with the C update, it's fun to see a couple more things pop in here. And people always love rugs. They are always uh, one of those things that sell well. So hey, this might be a smart one to grab for $2.49 this week. Then we'll go ahead and just pop over and take a look at the furnace. And like I said, it's just a normal glow from this one this week. All right, next up we've got weapons for you. And first up we have the Panther Crossbow. And you can see this whole thing has kind of like a uh, dark midnight kind of like purple thing going on. Then it also looks like it has like a Damascus kind of uh, design. Or maybe it's supposed to be Damascus steel. I don't know. But one way or another, definitely a very cool looking design here. Always neat to see the kind of darker colors against all the bright stuff we've been seeing lately. Next, we've got a DB, and this one is the Coliseum DB, if you can't tell. And this one is going to run you the usual weapon price of $199. Aiming down the sides here, you can see it's nicely carved. Even the actual screwdriver there is made out of some carved stone. There we go with the reload. And there we have it. Next, we have a SAR for you. And this one has some beautiful kind of Native American inspirations. It is the Windwalker SAR. This one will run you 249 so a little bit more than usual with 50 cents added on there. Aiming down the sides here, you've got a nice red painted tip against the aqua and yellow. There we go for that reload. And last but not least, we do have a new Balti skin for you. And uh, yeah, it's not too often that we get Baltis or L96s. We have had some uh, lately, but it's always nice to see one pop in as there's far less of them than there are, let's say, stars or AKs. So we have one here for the Redemption set. Now, of course, the Redemption set usually does carry a higher price tag. So this one is going to run a little bit more than usual with a dollar higher price tag at $2.99 this week. Aiming down the sides here, there is a little bit of design and some red tips to the sides. Should you do some iron siding? So there you go, everyone. Sound off down in the comment section below. Which ones you picked up this week and why? And if you didn't, well, what would you have hoped to have made it instead? I can always give that feedback to Helk and uh, any other feedback you have. I'll always try to get to the right people. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay rusty.